Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Atelier Meruru. I'm back at the workshop after our last adventure on the world map, and I've started doing a couple of more things for our quests. So we have 125 development points, but I'd like to save 150 so that I'm able to get one of the buildings that I want. We're also very close to getting a rank up, which hopefully we are going to be able to do in this video. So our development requires us to make a Chaos Conductor for Quele Force, which I have done. I've made one at uh, B rank, so I'm able to deliver that uh, to Quele Force next time we're there. We need to collect water samples when we're there. Uh, we actually haven't gone there at all yet, uh, and hopefully I can do that. I needed to empty up my basket because it was completely full, uh, but maybe next time I'm in the area we'll stop by and begin working on this area. I also need to make sandbags, which I have started to do. And I also have the alchemy steel to deliver. So I'm actually able to complete three out of four things right now at Quayle Forest. And hopefully we'll be able to get that area developed uh, soon so we can get our people some clean drinking water. Uh, Tron Plateau, we did the majority of the things uh, for it in the last video. We delivered the cloth and the magic stone. The only thing that's left is to hunt the griffin, which I'm going to go ahead and do in this video. And uh, that's pretty much where we stand right now. I still don't have the ability to make the farming tools, so we're going to have to work uh, on that at a later date. So, uh, right now I have my homes synthesizing and gathering, but I'd like to change their jobs. My homes uh, are keeping very busy. I've had one uh, make me a couple of elixirs, which is nice. I have a couple of healing items now. But I'd like to switch his job to making me some cloth. I'm going to need them for uh, the sandbag request. So I'd like him to make me uh, a couple pieces of cloth while I'm out. I've had my female home uh, gathering some tar fruit for me for the last couple of days, which are also going to be used in making the sandbags. However, I'm short on lumber, uh, which is another ingredient that I need. So I'm going to switch her job as well, and I'm going to get her to uh, collect some ish for me, some good quality ish, so that I can make some good quality sandbags because they need to be uh, C quality or better. And then hopefully by the time I get back, I'm going to be able to finish up that final quest uh, for Quayle Forest. So let's take a couple of things out of my container and put them into my basket. I have lots of elixirs now, which are great. These are uh, some of the better healing items in the game, at the moment anyways, uh, that we're able to make. And I have, uh, I have quite a few things in my basket now. I've got uh, lots of healing items, and I have lots of attacking items, and so I feel a little bit more comfortable going up against the griffin uh, at this time. And I'm also going to be switching party members. So uh, we're going to say goodbye to Totori for the time being, and uh, we're going to go visit the tavern. I should probably check on the requests. I haven't done that for a little while. There's a couple of them that looks like I can actually do right away. Let's turn in some stuff uh, for some really easy money. Uh, some of the stuff she gives you for a request is just so incredibly easy that it's, you know, hard to turn down because of the money you get for it. And we're now able to do the friendship requests, so uh, let's do a couple of those and uh, get some friendship levels worked up. I can probably make some Witch Self for Geo in my spare time. I don't want to make any for Totori right now just because I'm not too worried about her friendship. I don't want to go out of my way. And it'll cycle through. She'll give me another request at a later date. I'm going to take the request for the prickly bunny because we're going to be running into these when we go to uh, Quayle Forest. And I still have a wide variety of quests to do uh, in my spare time. So hopefully I can work on these and work on uh, clearing out my quest log. Alright, so more on that later. We are going to be taking Gino out. And uh, like I mentioned before, I was really excited when uh, I got Gino because him and Mimi are my two favorite characters to use. I usually uh, use them both for the entire game. So I'm pretty excited for the uh, triple threat uh, that we have going on. 
because Gino's a pretty good character. He has really good stats. Uh, he also has upgraded equipment from my last playthrough. And uh, him and Mimi, I think, make a really, really fine pair with Meruru on the side to do a little bit of extra um, damage with her items and a little bit of healing. So I am uh, pretty happy with this party and I think we're going uh, to kick that griffin's butt. So uh, let's go! Alright, so it's a bit of a long walk to go back to Tron Plateau. However, it gives my homes a couple of days to finish up their tasks. Here we are! And once we defeat the Griffin, the development for this area is going to be finished, which is awesome. That'll be another thing off of our list, and we'll be able to come back and develop the place further. I also never get sick of the awesome boss music in this place. I think it's just fantastic. So, because it's a flying enemy, it's going to be weak to lightning. So if you have lightning bombs, I definitely recommend using them. The griffin has multi-targeting attacks, and it also gets two attacks per turn. So that's something to watch out for, uh, because it can kind of sneak up on you when you least expect it. And it can be crippling at times. Here we are with Gino. He heals every single turn. He comes with a couple of different skills. Slap blow. Heroic Boost and Hailstorm. For boss fights, I usually always start with Heroic Boost. It enhances all of his abilities and recovers HP. So that's going to increase his attack and his defense. Uh, and it basically gives him a free level, which is great. So I'm going to use him to uh, protect Meruru. I'm going to keep on throwing those lightning bombs use a couple of his abilities here just to show off what he's all about. And because my defense is so good, this griffin really isn't going to do a whole lot. I was worried because I thought that at this point the griffin might start doing a little bit of damage uh, and I might start to see um, a difference, but it doesn't look like I have anything to really worry about. However, you know, it never hurts to be uh, more safe than sorry. And it was good to go back to the workshop and create a couple of things anyways, just in case I run into something here or there. But this griffin is getting its butt whooped. It does get two turns per turn, but it does take uh, quite a few turns for that to happen, so you do have a lot of time to strategize and to heal and to uh, buff and do all of those types of things before it actually gets a chance to attack. But this thing has a ton of HP, even at my level now. It's taken me quite a while to whittle uh, its HP down. Uh, if you can debuff it, as you can see I have a couple of uh, debuffs on it. If you can decrease its attack, that will help you immensely. Uh, even that, if you don't have any good uh, buffs or you came with a character that's not uh, able to buff themselves, uh, then it really helps to be able to uh, stut that griffin's attack power a little bit. And you get lots of experience for beating it, which is great. I'm almost level 30 with Meruru, which is awesome. And uh, for defeating it, Trom Plateau gets its little uh, expansion. I get 15 points, which is going to allow me to get that kingdom rank up that I was talking about earlier. I get a couple of more letters, and I definitely get those development points that I wanted uh, to create the uh, lodging upgrade that I was wanting. So, probably not a bad idea to sit here and uh, defeat a couple of uh, enemies, just for the experience. I really need to get Gino a new weapon. For some reason, he's not doing as much damage as I thought he was going to do, which is okay. He's still doing quite a bit. Mimi is just extremely OP. She just rips through absolutely everything. But I emptied out my basket, so fighting these enemies and getting a couple of uh, drops is probably a good idea. Also not a bad idea to use a couple of the items that I brought along. Empty out my basket. Make room for new items. 
I have a couple of poor quality items. So, it's good to get rid of those to make way for better quality stuff in the future. Get rid of these stupid crystal pixies. They're just irritating. Before they have a chance to heal themselves. Just makes them last for even longer. And as you can see, these battles are still taking a little while, but they're not really uh, too overly challenging. However, I'm not even level 30 yet, so I shouldn't be skipping out on battles. Because the game only gets harder from here, of course. And being overleveled never hurts, unless, of course, you're spending too much time fighting and not enough time doing everything else. But, uh, I think that's about good. Because we will be coming back to Tron Plateau later. We're going to have more requests to do here. And this place expands and is absolutely gorgeous when it does. So look forward to that. Uh, let's get out of here for now, though. We'll come back at a later date. And we also get a bit of a path extension. Just a little bit, though. One new area. Uh, we don't have to go there right now, though, so I'm not going to bother. However, I think that at this time, it's a good idea to finally go to Quayle Forest because I have been skipping out on it uh, for such a long time. Here I am! Jeez, that water's so clear! Let's just have a little sip, shall we? <sighs> so refreshing! Everyone in town is going to be so happy to get a taste of this! And if all goes well, I could probably use good water like this for my synthesis! I'm getting really excited! Alright, so here we are. And we're hoping to turn this place into a source of... Uh, clean, pure, and fresh drinking water, so we need to collect uh, samples so that we can test the water. There's also going to be some enemies we've lose? seen already. That's why I took the prickly bunny request, because as you can see, we're going to run into them here. We also run into the uh, turnip bunnies, which are, you know, nothing new. We ran into them a whole bunch as well. Okay, but I'm definitely going to be able to finish up that quest or def defeating all of the, uh, the turnip bunnies, no problem. So you have these guys roaming around the forest. There's also uh, a unicorn, which, if we remember, was uh, one of the boss fights uh, earlier on in the game. And let's take a couple of more samples while we're here. It's a little bit irritating trying to hop in between all of these bunnies. Uh, they're kind of in your way when you're trying to collect these water samples. I mean, I could defeat them, but at this point, I just want to collect the samples and finish up this part of the development. Uh, once you have enough, you can just bring all the stuff back to the workshop and use it. You're not actually required to do anything with it. The game's just, you know, telling you basically to uh, get all of the things that are available in the area. Unfortunately, there's only a couple of spots that you can actually gather from, so... More than likely, you're going to have to uh, leave the area and come back. Which is usually what I end up doing. Um, so before I end uh, the video, let's go ahead and let's turn in a couple of things to our soldier here. We have the uh, Chaos Conductor. Only need one of them. We'll get 15 points for that. And uh, we also have the Alchemy Steel, which we will get another 10 points for. So there's another 25 points for us towards the kingdom. I'm going to go ahead and go off screen. I'm going to collect the rest of the water samples that I need. And then we'll be heading back to the kingdom. We're going to go speak to Rufus and rank up and uh, spend some of our development points. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.